Everett, Washington was built by a city of readers from 1894 through today. From smokestacks to bookstacks, the landscapes change, but our love of reading remains. Welcome to Book Bites. If you're looking for a beautifully rendered book, think each page could be a painting that you put on your wall. With deep, similarly beautiful meaning, you're going to want to take a look at this next book. A 2014 picture book by Marianne Dubuc, an internationally acclaimed children's author from Montreal, Lion and the Bird is a touching and lovely book that subtly delivers lessons on the changing of the seasons, friendship, patience, kindness, and unconditional love, while the sparse prose and classically styled storybook illustrations leave parents and children plenty of space and time to ponder the feelings and issues that the book raises. On a beautiful autumn day, a lion finds a wounded bird in his garden. With the departure of the bird's flock, lion decides that he'll care for the bird. Let's bandage you up, says lion, that will help. Note the shifting perspective. We've got a close up moving to a wide shot, which is extremely sophisticated. Don't worry, you won't be cold here. Over the course of the winter, the two become fast friends. Note the sweetness of the gesture, the gentle smiles, and the integration of the bird into the lion's work day. Every parent can relate. A day in the life. These are activities every child and grown-up can relate to. It snows and snows, but winter doesn't feel all that cold with a friend. We've got the power of friendship and a fade to white which is stunning emotionally as well as aesthetically. Yes, says Lion, I know. Nevertheless, Bird rejoins his flock the following spring and Lion is left alone. Note the elegance in the prose, underscoring the simple understanding that comes with friendship. Spring and summer pass, and we see a false ending as Lion assumes Bird is not to return, but Autumn returns with the most wonderful surprise ever. Note the single note on that page. Together we'll stay warm again this winter. That's an ending that allows you to think and tears you up. The first time I read this to my young daughters, they both had deep feeling for this story, which inspired a lot of discussion. This has been a taste of The Lion and the Bird by Marianne Dubuc. Thank you for joining us today in beautiful Everett, Washington, a city of readers. See you at the library.